In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to determine the perpendicular distance of a point to a line. For example, in 11.1, it says the coordinate point P is 1123.82,509.41, and the coordinates of the block corners are 865.49,41673 and 1557.41, comma, 669.09. So what I'm going to do first is just create a line between the two points, x and y, or the two coordinate blocks. So I'm going to start the line command, and I'm going to type in 865.49, comma, 416.73. That gets me started on my first point. The second one is 1557.41, comma, 669.09. Enter. There's my second point. So this is the line A to B, for example. Now here's the thing, is we're putting them in in XY coordinates. If you take a look at your settings, and underneath your drawing settings, you have ambient settings. You can actually change the settings to make them prompt you Y before X. But right now, we're using X and Y coordinates, not northing and eastings. The next thing is, is I'm going to go ahead and locate point P. So I'm going to start the line command again and I'm going to type in 1123.82 comma 509.41. Enter. Now I zoom in, I hit shift, right um, mouse key, and go perpendicular. Now if I take a look at what that length of that line is, it is 1.446 and the actual length of the distance from B to P is 1.45 rounding. Now we can go ahead and take a look at our azimuths or our bearings of these lines. For example, we can go to annotate and we can label a line. We can do slope and we can add it. We've got different options. Um, some of your options, however, may not be set up. For example, I didn't start with our our typical template, so I don't have some of my options as I normally do. So I'm just going to do bearing over distance. And I'm going to add. Now my bearing is 69 north 69 degrees, uh, 57 minutes 42 seconds east. So if you take a look at that, we have 69, 57, 42 and a distance of 736.5 and our distance here from A to P if we look if I draw a line from the end point to the end point of this line I'm going to go ahead and delete that just to get out of the way and I'm going to go bearing over distance just as a different method to show you this the distance is 274. Now, A to P being not this point here, but the, the um, I'm sorry, it's the, the distance from the XY coordinate axis of 0, comma, 0. So I'm going to draw a line at 0, comma, 0. And I'm going to just draw it straight up. And I'm going to extend to this line this point, this line right here. Now if I measure this up, this is actually my B coordinate and it should measure, so I'm going to use my dimensions and I'm going to measure from the end point to the point of intersection. And there's the distance of 106, 101.065. So this is kind of what the math looks like if you had to do it, if you had to give um, the solution using AutoCAD. Alright, that's it for this one.